uh, probably since the 1920s with the rise of the Hollywood star system, Americans have lived increasingly vicarious lives. Uh, but the real point at which it hit critical mass, where it seems like almost everybody in the country did, does, would probably be within the past 20 or 30 years. And it's like everybody is completely wrapped up in paying attention to the modern, marginal nuances of the lives of basketball players, agonizing over Madonna's next big series that she's going to approach this week. And uh, all manner of stuff. And it's a gigantic industry that I'm sure if you took, if somehow Americans decided not to be vicarious anymore, huge sectors of the economy would come tumbling down. So one of the other side features of vicariousness is it also tends to make people more isolated in their own little monad individual lives and they're completely unaware of you know, the person that lives, that's been living next door to them for half a century. And this is particularly pronounced in Southern California where alienation is one of the fundamental conditions, like tons of little bleak houses with fences where nobody seems to know anybody <laughs> in terms of anything like a neighborhood that every home is like a weird little fortress that they hide behind and stuff and the whole idea of actually having any appreciation or interest in any other person's life if they're not famous or something is like unheard of. Uh, it, it, it's definitely, it, it has like some absurd kind of experience. Uh, where you see, it, it, like it makes me suspicious of almost everything, right? whether it's the music industry, or you know, at what point is music sort of uh, a point of edification, and at what point is it like a sort of uh, obsession, uh, trying to live through the life.